No. Hey yo. So today we're gonna do some ascent setups. Let's start with a site. Okay, so the uh, here's my first setup that I usually go to all the time. This one here. Um, this trip wire is really hard for it and to break. The only way to really get to it is kind of like getting close to this side here. This one over here, they can't really break. So keep that in mind. Uh, then my second trip, I like to put it just like here going across. Uh, kind of stops them or I'll put it on this corner here just to cut off um, the door. And for my cage, I like to put it right here. Um, then save my other cage for other purposes. For the camera, um, there's a few good spots to place it. Anywhere high up on A side is generally good. Uh, I like this banner here. Mm, just can see a lot of sight. Or up here right above the entrance is good as well. A little obvious though. Um, Generally, uh, if I'm just like starting out, I'll just place it up here. With this cam, you can see them enter yeah. from main. You can see a little bit into yeah. tree. And you can see all of sight, so it's generally a pretty good cam. Then, when uh, I like to play back here behind these boxes or gen, a lot of the time they'll try to uh, maybe raise nade gen or they'll throw a lot of util here. So playing back here is generally safer, but you will get hit by darts or date eyes. Um, so that's why I like to have another cage here in case that happens, so I can cover myself. All you have to do is play off your cam, wait for him to get on site, then pop your cage and get some free kills. So that was the first setup. Okay, so for my second setup, this one's a bit more unique. I like to use it for retake a lot. First step, is you want to jump on the generator again then place your cam up in this corner here with this cam you can see a lot of uh sight as, as well as yeah. this little tree cross and this camera here is very well hidden enemies will never almost never look up here it's generally a really hidden cam then i like to pair it with um a trip along here and either a trip here um, or just a trip across like this. Right. I kind of just leave this area open because, um, I'll show you why. With this setup, you like, you want to play against enemy KOs or, um, if you want to communicate with your team that you're going to do retakes, you want to play offsite here. You can see enemy cross around here. You can't see them plant gen, which is the only downside to the setup, but you can see them cross tree as well. Once they plant, if they haven't planted in any other spot, you know it's going to be default on gen. So then all you have to do is place the cage there. Look at the timing, make sure there's no one around here. Uh, you can see people going under as well. Then you pop this and go here and do a little jump. Then what you can do is swing and take a one-on-one -on -one fight in this area here. This setup is a little trickier. It's more what I like to call a ninja cypher setup. Now with this setup, you have to uh, really perfect your timing. I'm gonna give you one more little bonus setup. So this one is more to do with attack sided. So let's say you're attacking a, cy a cypher with your team. Boom, 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 boom. What you can do actually to help your team get on site is line up here you kind of just like aim at this thing here see this little pill, uh little thing and you jump and throw boop your smokers probably don't want to smoke that uh that area so having a cypher cage there is actually better uh because yeah. smokers will want to smoke yeah. um tree here uh sorry door here yeah. and heaven yeah. so the and the smoke here will kind of cage help trigger. a lot Usually jets will smoke that um, as they're coming in. To get on site, you know, close door, do your things. Your team will plant default sometimes. You want to line up here. Boom, boom. Then aim towards that little uh, edge there and throw your cage. 
there's a little one way um, for heaven. So what you can do is pop it and get a little one way. You can chop up here as well. I got a little one way to kill off enemies. It's really powerful. I really like it. Boom. All right, let's head to mid. Now generally, Cypher won't really play mid, but um, it could be useful um, to have these uh, these setups for like certain situations. There's a good trip here so that your team can focus on two sites. Uh, another thing you could do is once the wall goes down, just place it right there. And that's even better. Uh, you can also place a little cam here. This cam back here, it's a little more hidden. You can see up uh, up mid, on mid top. Um, you can see the courtyard as well. And this cam just gives a lot of vision mid. If you really want to commit and hold down uh, mid from market, I'd suggest placing a trip here. This one here is almost unbreakable. If you're coming to setting up on mid, then I would put this trip and that trip. Put a cage here, have your cam like back here. All right. Then just pop your cage, get a free kill mid here. Boom. And back up. And play here. If you're gonna do this, you want someone yeah. to watch main. All right. Cage boom 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 boom. And that's a free kill. Now another setup, um, if you want to get a little crazy, a little bit of a ninja cypher setup I'd like to say. What you want to do is line yourself up against this wall here, right? And then aim right around like the middle he area here. You see where this white thing is? You want to aim in the middle here. And then when the wall goes down, you throw a cage. This here is a one way. It's really nice. One way for mid. I'm gonna give you a little bonus as well. A little attack cage. It doesn't matter, just hug like the, the pot. It doesn't matter where. Generally, I just throw it in like this area, line it up like in the middle of the pot. And just throw it. Boom, one way. This one doesn't work as well for them because it's a little too high and you can't they can't see you on tiles. So that was a good one way if you're trying to attack mid. All right, last but not least, we got B's site. I think this site is the best for Cypher. What I like to do is this uh, this trip here. It's really nice. Right? It's very long and kind of hard to see. So what I like to do is kind of just go across this. And I like to put my kit, kit up here and play it kind of on site. Usually I'll start with over here and this cage here. This is sort of what I start with. I keep one cage on hand. Um, then when they yeah. come up through here, come through main, kind of pop through the cage, and make a jump. Um, usually this yeah. corner here is very spammable, so you want to like be a little bit out. But it's not too bad. And you don't even have to play there. You can wall bang here, kind of. See the bullets. Boom. Another place you could play is market. Get full vision of both the cages. Boom. Boom. I mean, uh, both the wires. It's really nice. So that's my first setup. Uh, for my second setup, it's a little bit trickier. If you find that they're not really clearing this logs corner, I like to put a cage here. Put a trip. You put the same trip here. And uh, when the wall goes down, I place a high cam here. The higher, the better, because uh, you want it hidden behind this little little th thing here. It's very hard to spot. Then you hide in this corner. Boom. Um, boom. And eh, sometimes I like to do this one as well. Yeah. This, uh, doing a second one here. Or what you can do is actually just put a second, <laughs> a second thing right there. Uh, when enemies enter a site, boom, yeah. boom, uh, pop this cage. They're very hidden, right? And you can when they cross uh, into lane, you can get some free kills. Or if they don't go yeah. into lane, 
Make sure you have that cage there to cut off cage those thing. angles and just swing and it would be a sort of surprise attack. Those are my two setups I like to do. Uh, when you're attacking this camp here, oops. So uh, when you're attacking, uh, kind of want to be in like the middle of this this box here, and then aim high. You see that little yeah. little, little grate there? Aim there and just kind of place it there. Boom. And you get a lot of yeah. info on site. Yeah. You kind of yeah, you can see into logs as well. Uh, if you do this a little better, move a little bit to like the right and place it. Try and place it on the corner area. So it's, it's very difficult. So. It, might take some practice but spam boom there we got the corner now you can see there see a little bit into market it's overall a really good cam for attacking but so what you want to do is kind of line this up here with the wall line yourself up with the wall here jump and throw boom. line up this little structure here with the corner it doesn't have to be perfect and then just like aim towards See this cloud up here um, between this building and this cloud. Just aim it like in the middle and then jump through. Cage triggered. Boom. And it's a one way. The stairs. If, and, um, it's a little bonus there. It makes it Cage easier triggered. to attack. Um, yeah, overall, that, those are my setups. So, uh, comment. Let me know what you think in the comments as well as if you have any cooler setups you can anyways leave a like subscribe and i'll be doing more setups in the future so let me know which map you want to see first